example number 5.8 given on page number 593 in this example there are number of alternators and all the alternators are working in parallel with their terminal voltage equal to the rated value one of the machine that is one of the alternator which has a synchronous reactance of 50% and a resistance of 1% delivers a power output in kilowatt equals to 70% of its rated KVA. If the EMF of this unit equals 1.2 times the terminal voltage, find out the power factor at which the machine is operating. So we have to solve this problem so let us first understand it this question is saying that there are many alternators alternator number one alternator number two and in this way there are many alternators they are working in parallel and we have to think about only one alternator let us say this last one we are going to think about this alternator and we have to find out the power factor of this alternator in this question it is written that the reactance of the alternator is 50% if you convert the percentage value in the per unit value it will become 0.5 per unit the resistance of this alternator is 1% convert this percentage value into the per unit value you will get 0 0.01 per unit resistance the per unit value of the synchronous impedance will be equal to 0 0.01 plus j 0 0.5 per unit so we are thinking about this generator the last one let us draw the complete diagram of this alternator this is the terminal voltage V this is the synchronous impedance it is delivering current IA and this is the internal EMF of the generator so let us find out the values which are given in the problem see it is given that all the alternators are working in parallel with their terminal voltage equal to the rated value terminal voltage equal to rated value rated value means 1 per unit the terminal voltage is 1 per unit the magnitude of the terminal voltage is 1 per unit it is given in the problem because rated value means 1 per unit and always the terminal voltage is taken as reference so we should write 0 so the terminal voltage equals to 1 angle 0 it is also written in this problem that the EMF of the alternator equals to the internal EMF of this alternator equals to 1.2 times the terminal voltage it means that the internal EMF is the magnitude of the internal EMF is 1.2 and we know that in the case of the alternator the EMF always leads with the terminal voltage by an angle delta this delta is known as load angle so we can write the internal EMF in the phasor form in this way in the polar form 1.2 angle delta it is also given in this question that the alternator delivers a power output in kilowatt equals to 70 percent of its rated kva what does it mean it means that the magnitude of the current is 
point seven and we don't know whether this alternator is working at leading power factor or lagging power factor so we can assume anything so let me assume that this alternator is working at leading power factor so if this alternator is working at leading power factor then I should write plus phi so finally the question is saying that find out the power factor at which the machine is operating so we have to find out the power factor so you can apply KVL here by applying the KVL you can write EF equals to V plus IA ZS the value of EF equals to 1.2 angle delta the value of the terminal voltage is 1 angle 0 the value of the armature current is 0 0.7 angle phi and the value of ZS equals to 0 0.01 plus J 0 0.5 So from this equation we have to calculate the value of phi. So let me proceed. We can write it in this way 1.2 angle delta minus 1. 1 angle 0 can be written as 1. So I am taking this part in the left hand side and if you multiply these two terms uh, first convert this rectangular form in the polar form 0 0.7 angle 5 and convert this rectangular form in the polar form and you will get 0 0.5 angle 88.9 if you multiply these two you will get 0.35 angle 88.9 plus 5 if you expand this 1.2 angle delta it will become okay uh, let me write it first 1 1.2 angle delta minus 1 okay expand it now 1.2 cos delta plus j 1.2 sin delta minus 1 equals to 0.35 88.9 plus 5 okay write it again 1.2 cos delta minus 1 plus j 1.2 sin delta equals to 0 0.35 angle 88.9 plus 5 find out the magnitude of the left hand side it will become 1.2 cos delta minus 1 square plus 1.2 sin delta square equals to 0.35 the magnitude of the right hand side is 0.35 okay 1.2 cos delta minus 1 square plus 1.2 sin delta square equals to 0.35 square so it can be written as 1.2 square cos square delta plus 1 minus 2.4 cos square delta plus 1.2 square sin square delta equals to 0.35 square you can see these two terms if you combine these two terms it will become 1.2 square plus 1 minus 2.4 I'm sorry I have written something wrong here it will be minus 2.4 cos delta so it will become after solving this whole equation okay I'm going to repeat it again if you combine these two terms it will be 1.2 square this one is written here 
and this value is minus 2.4 cos delta 0.35 square so by mistake I have written uh, minus 2.4 cos square delta so I have removed this square so this is the correct uh, equation no problem in this equation here so if you solve this you will get the value of delta equals to 15.0664 degree if you put this value of delta in this equation here in this equation put this value of delta so it will become 1.2 angle 15.0664 4. you can write 4 or you can ignore 4 no problem minus 1 ok write it equals to 0.35 angle 88.9 plus 5 so you can see if you convert the whole left hand side part into the polar form it will become 0.35 angle 80, uh, 0.35 angle 63.0268 88.9 plus 5 okay if you compare the angles these two angles you will get the value of 5 the value of phi equals to minus 25.87 degree if you see this current the current value is 0.7 angle phi the value of current is 0.7 angle phi and it will be 0.7 angle minus 25.87 degree and the value of the terminal voltage is 1 angle 0 the value of the terminal voltage equals to 1 angle 0 so if you draw the phasor diagram this is the terminal voltage and the current will lag with the terminal voltage by an angle 25.87 so you can say that the power factor is cos 25.87 equals to 0.8997 because this current is lagging with respect to terminal voltage so the power factor is lagging so the alternator is working at a lagging, lagging power factor of 0.8997 so this is the answer which we have calculated but the printed answer is 0.9 lagging so there is somewhat deviation in uh, my answer and the printed answer but you can ignore it because these values are approximately same so in this way we have discussed this this example number 5.8 given on page number 593 from this book electrical machinery written by dr. P.S. Bhimra thank you